data that we need to use uh, is the type of stuff that provides us information with regards to how are we doing. Are we doing the right things? And as we're doing them, are we doing those things well? Uh, the one of the challenges we have is we're pretty subjective in how we evaluate our units. We have to get more objective. And that, the only way you get that is through data, data that can't be argued with. When you show people either by video or things they're saying, things they're doing, how long it takes them to do certain tasks, um, all based against a measuring system. Uh, we're actually calling it SPEMS. Don't ask me what the acronym stands for. It's S-P-E-M-S. -E but it's a new system we're using uh, that has a, a tier system because in the past, all we've used is trained, partially trained, or untrained. What do you do with that? So we've variegated into five steps now um, that gives us more of a range of how well somebody actually, or how well a unit did perform a task. Um, and then gathering that data to d identify, all right, here's where you are, here's where everybody else is, why is there a difference between the two? Um, we want to get everybody at least to the same level. If they want to ex exceed that, Great, but at the very least, we have to get them here. Right now, we have people all over the range. Um, so that's how we can use data to prove to them um, and step back and say, okay, because uh, one of the other things we don't do well is remediate. So when something doesn't go as well as it should, how do you step back, talk to the uh, leadership saying, okay, here's what happened, talk me through your thought process. How do we improve that sort of thing now? Talk to your leadership go back 500 meters or in a simulated environment, reset the simulation, let's do it again and get it right. Um, there's one of the, a book I like, it was written by a guy named Swinton, it's called Defense of Duffer's Drift, where the lieutenant uh, had, I think it was six different dreams with regards to how he would handle a tactical problem. The first couple times were very, very poor. He learns lessons every time and by the sixth time it was very, very good. How do you do that live? How do you do that with live forces? Our commandant refers to it as reps and sets. We have to be able to do that. Yeah, it's a lot of it's the instrumentation to be able to listen to what the units are saying, the videos to be able to uh, to show them what they look like, um, the instrumentation that goes with the position, navigation, and timing, the GPS that shows them where they're at on the ground, um, where they're maneuvering in particular. Um, how do you gather all of that information together? The Army's already doing it. They're doing it at the National Training Center and their other training centers. Um, we need to at least catch up to them, but hopefully surpass them with the ability to show everything as a, one of the things I referred to before is an NFL-like ability to look at everything they're doing, saying, um, and show it back to them and, and talk through the thought process and then improve upon it. Um, data being a very difficult problem, uh, there's a ton of data out there. Um, you have to have the right data, which goes back to are we asking the right questions with regards to what's, what information do we need to know? What does that data need to be able to do for us? Because if you're asking the wrong questions, you're going to get the wrong answers. Uh, and then that doesn't do any good because um, okay. there's a ton of data out there.